Hi, I'm Leela Viss, author of the iPad Piano Studio. My studio shelves are filled to the brim with music books, and therefore I'm extremely grateful for the option to purchase and store digital sheet music on my iPad. As I collect more and more digital editions, it means I need a place to store the documents as well as view them. A couple of apps are needed to make this virtual library a reality. Once you download a digital score, which is really a PDF or a portable document, you can store it in various closets such as Dropbox or Google Drive. But these cloud-based filing cabinets are not ideal for viewing the scores. Opening a score in the FourScore app will allow you to read the score, turn pages with a fingertip or toe tap, and utilize additional fabulous features. As FourScore is a power tool app, meaning one with a monumental amount of versatility, I'm highlighting only four ways in which I found to employ the app. After you download a digital music score, here I'm playing a freebie I just downloaded from James Cowart's site, you will want to save and then open the sheet music in Dropbox or Google Drive. Once the score has found a safe storage room on your device, open the score, tap on the screen, and on the top right hand corner it will read Open In iBooks or Open In. Choose Open In and a selection of various apps will appear. Tap on the FourScore icon and the document will magically open in FourScore. FourScore will allow you to organize your scores in countless ways. Tap on the note icon on the upper left hand side to open the library. Tap on All Scores, then tap on the new score you just opened in the app. Beneath the title, add the composer's name or the key and an assortment of other tags which will help you search and access the file quickly. The FourScore app is loaded with tools. In fact, when tapping on the screen, you'll see a toolbox icon appear on the upper right hand side. Tapping on this icon will bring you to a long list of tools including a pen icon that allows you to annotate or write on the screen or score. The annotate menu provides various options. Tap on the flat icon and you can add accidentals or other signs to the score. Tap on the blue dot to highlight notes. To help young readers, highlight all one chords in blue, four chords in yellow, and five chords in red. You can type in the score to write notes such as SP3X, which in my studio means special practice three times. You can use the black pen to block off those tricky spots that need attention. For any annotation, you will want a stylus. A finger works, but it is a little fat for more precise notation. Need a stylus? Amazon has them in all price ranges. I buy the inexpensive ones for my studio and keep a more pricey stylus for my own use. Check out Jot Pro by Adonat when you are ready to commit to purchasing a fine stylus. Page turns are a potential hazard on any musician's job site. A marvelous workaround is using a pedal that turns pages on your tablet with a tap of your toe. With four score, Bluetooth technology, and the air turn pedal or the page flip cicada, a page will automatically turn with a simple toe tap so that both hands remain playing every precious note the composer intends. With either pedal you choose, it must be paired with your device. Simply turn on the pedal, tap on your settings icon, and locate Bluetooth in the menu options. Tap on the dual pedal. It may take a while, but eventually your device and the pedal will find each other, and when you return to FourScore, you will be on your way to hands-free page turns. While reading from a lead sheet during a recent online lesson with Bradley Sowash, I remembered there was a microphone icon within the toolbox menu. In the past, I had used this FourScore feature to record myself playing a piece to provide some aural feedback and sharpen my performance. It occurred to me that I should record Bradley playing excerpts of the current lead sheet we were discussing so that I would be able to listen to the sample repeatedly and prepare more accurately between lessons. This has worked like a charm. Even though Bradley is playing his keyboard in Ohio, thanks to the power of Skype and a sharp microphone on the iPad, I can still make good recordings. Bonus, I can add more than one recording to any digital sheet music loaded into Fourscore. After you make a recording, you will be prompted to title and save it. 
To find your recordings, tap on the screen and the microphone icon will appear at the bottom and you can swipe from right to left to find all your recordings. Here's a couple of tips gathered from my own experience. First, make sure you practice all page turns, whether with a finger or a foot. Next, bring your pedal along with you when you plan to use it. I keep mine in a bright green bag that reminds me to bring it back home with me. You can find more helpful tips at my blog, 88pianokeys.me. Best wishes on your score reading adventures from the Power app called Fourscore.